Hello, good morning or good evening. Today we are going to see one of the important topic that is called as a control statements. What does a control statements uh, mean? The control statements are used to control the sequence of execution of instructions in a program. So we have a program, we have a set of uh, statements and uh, that needs to be controlled or some business case or the business logic that you have to written it has as various conditions then how do you are going to control those statements or those particular block that defines the control statements depending on this these are classified as decision making or branching statement and the other is called as a looping statements and the jumping statements right so whenever you write any program so we need to know or we need to know the flow uh, to how do we write the program right so sometimes the decisions are very much important and how do you iterate the program and how do you loop the statements that is also important sometimes we need to jump from one section to another section or from one statement to another statement there it is considered to be as a jumping statements the branching statement these are also called as a decision making statements these are used when a condition arises in a such statement surface so for example so let us take an example example uh, uh, like there, there will be a condition like so in order to get into the higher education so you should pass with certain percentage and to get a seat so that there we can have a condition like if a person is score is greater than 80 percent then only eligible for entry into the college so if eligible for su submitting an application form if he is not if it is the percentage is less than 80 he is not eligible to apply for this post or for this application in the college so there are there will be several examples that we can apply for this branching statement it is also it is called as a decision making right so if you are an employee of a company so you will be getting and you would be having an appraisal discussion so in order to get a good hike you should uh, do certain things and you have to if you are meeting their expectations then only you would be giving with a good hike or good salary or good income right so we can use that branching statements for this uh, I can say this as a decision making statements. The various branching statements that we have is if statements, switch statements, conditional operator statements. Now let's see an if statements how it works. If statement is a powerful decision making statement which can handle a condition. Uh, the if statement can either be true or false accents. Simple if, depending on this, we have many if statements like simp normal simple if. If if A is equals to B, what is the action you need to do? That is called as a simple if. If else, if A is equals to B, what is it not? Uh, what is the action that needed? If A is not equal to B, then what is the action I have to take? That is comes in else. So then nested if nested if like uh, we have several conditions that we need to take care. Like if if it is a Sunday, what I have to do? If it is a Monday, what I have to do? Else if if it is a Tuesday, what I have to do? If it is a Thursday, what I have to do? So there will be specific conditions, nested if or else if or multiple conditions you can code and this if. So how it works, if expression then set of statements or the block you have to execute. Only execute blocks if expression is true. If Monday is MON is equals to Monday, print it's not a weekend I'm saying. So this is the flowchart, so how it works. So first you will be checking the condition, if it is true the statements gets executed, if it is false it comes out of the loop. Okay, let's see a sample example of uh, how a if statement will work and uh, let's see how we can work for this. Okay, so this is a sample example where uh, we have printing the time. So it, it covers all the different if functions and if else if and all different things. Okay, if weekday is equals to zero, then I'm printing it as a Sunday. Uh, if weekday is equals to equals to one, then I'm saying it as a Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. Else, if if it was a simple, if to start with a simple if, I can uh, make this as I can delete this. Okay and uh, just I can save this and I can run this if it is a simple if okay then I'm going to execute this okay so if weekday is equals to zero zero so today is some other day so it, it won't print 
right so in this case what I can do is if it is not equal to 0 what is the action I can print print hmm it's it's not a Sunday okay so here I can save this and I can it's not a Sunday right if you have entered into the else block in the same way we can check for if you want to check for multiple condition then I can what I can do here is I can write multiple else if conditions if a weekday is equals to 1 then Monday so it checks for any of the conditions that is like from 0 to 6 so then I'm going to save this and I will try to execute it so it's a Tuesday today so I had a typo I should not do this okay so then it's a Tuesday so in this way the if else and the nested if works okay let's go back to our presentation and see what is happening here okay then if else if x else is expanded block if expression the block should execute else it will go to the block 2 if expression is true execute block 1 otherwise execute the block 2 okay so then if else uh, the flowchart is like this like if the condition is true then execute the statement if the condition is false then check the statement then it comes out of the loop if else if else so if else if else means even more control express expression 1 is true then execute block else if expression is true block 2 then else block 3 okay so here is the if else statements if at the entry if the condition is true then it goes to true condition then again it checks for the other second conditions then it is true statement execution if it is a false then other uh, statements and so on the iteration will take place so if you are going to use have a multiple conditions and multiple checkpoints then you can use if else if so then that's how the if statements will work and uh, the next topic will cover about while loop